Hello, my name is Steven Gonzalez, and this is my presentation on a current issue in education. The topic I decided to choose was our LGBTQ students accepted by their teachers and their peers. The reason I decided to choose this topic is because it holds a special place in my heart. As someone who is a part of the LGBTQ community, I believe that there would have been many benefits if I had received an environment that was fully inclusive. There are students who still suffer from not being treated equally and who also suffer by not being 100% themselves. A bit of background on LGBTQ youth. Most LGBTQ youth are a device group of individuals. Their differences range from their age to their race and even to the geography of where they live. Imagine yourself in grade school having to hide your true authentic self on top of having to deal with all other factors of life. As said by Hansen, LGBTQ youth students are at a higher risk for a variety of adverse experiences and outcomes. Some of these experiences could be surrounded by the lack of acceptance by their peers and teachers. Also youth of the LGBTQ community also suffer from understanding their identity. At an age where confusion is at an all-time high, now they have to navigate being seen as an equal when the LGBTQ students do not feel accepted and are possibly being mistreated at school, there are major life-altering consequences. As said by Hansen, LGBTQ youth are at a higher risk for non-acceptance by their peers. Bullying, violence, and poor mental health are all factors of the lack of acceptance from their peers and teachers. Thankfully, there is a, now a rise of advocacy for LGBTQ youth in schools. Boylan said, schools should continue to be a place where all LGBTQ youth students feel safe and supported. And there have been many reports of more positive experiences in both the elementary and middle school age, which will help create a better life overall down the line for LGBTQ youth from their health to their life satisfaction and even protection from possible negative behaviors. Some schools who participate in the acceptance of LGBTQ youth have the GSA, which stands for the Gay Straight Alliance. This is not only a way to ensure a safe space for the LGBTQ youth, but also give knowledge to students who may not understand LGBTQ. Unfortunately, there are still states that explicitly prohibit the positive portrayal of homosexuality in schools through specific education laws. Some states, including Texas, Arizona, South Carolina, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi, have a no promo homo law which was passed for the non-promotion of homosexuality in a pro positive way. My personal perspective. I believe that every individual is born unique and different from their physical to their biological makeup and even from their emotions. Students who identify as LGBTQ should be guided by their educators, not with answers on how to navigate but by providing them with a safe space filled with acceptance and support. This will allow those students to be their true authentic selves. And as a future educator, I want to try my hardest to stand in front of the difficult situations because no matter how hard it may feel to stand up, it is even harder to be accepted as an LGBTQ youth. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation.